And there's a tentative agreement tonight for the sale of Fred Fuller Oil. The company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy after a supplier sued them, claiming Fuller owed them millions of dollars. On Friday, federal bankruptcy court allowed Fuller Oil to remain open for 10 days until sale could be arranged. News 9 spoke with the state's attorney general tonight about these new developments. Chris and Carosa joins us now live with more on this story. The attorney general tells News 9 that the parties involved worked nonstop Friday night into Saturday morning to reach this tentative sale agreement. The AG's office says they are a part of this discussion to make sure customers are protected. And although a tentative agreement has been reached, it could take a month for the sale to be finalized. After a long night of lengthy discussions, a tentative agreement to sell Fred Fuller Oil, a company who filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, has been reached. Fuller had significant financial challenges, and while the bankruptcy court said it could operate for a period of time, it encouraged um, any buyer to come forward quickly to allow a sale to occur. According to documents filed in federal court, Fred Fuller's debts range from 10 to 50 million. Now the company has agreed to be sold to Rhymes Propane and Oil, and Sprague Operating Resources will help supply fuel for customers who ordered oil ahead of time. Sprague was the company that sued Fuller Oil for $4.7 million in unpaid bills. If the sale goes through, it means that all customers who bought fuel ahead of time for this upcoming winter will receive their deliveries. I think it's a really important first step towards assuring that customers who bought oil on a prepaid basis or on a budget basis from Fuller get the oil that they pay for when they need it. Governor Maggie Hassan released a statement saying, The state of New Hampshire is incredibly grateful for the efforts of both Rhymes and Sprague to reach an agreement that will help avoid the emergency situations that customers faced last winter. If the transaction is ultimately approved and closed, and we, that still has to occur, uh, the assets will be transferred over to Rhymes. Rhymes will operate them on a go-forward basis, and you know, for all practical purposes, the operations of Fuller will cease. The attorney general says he's grateful for the hard work that was put into reaching this tentative agreement. He says his office will continue to work with both parties until the sale is complete and will make sure Fuller customers receive the oil they have been promised and that they've paid for. Live in the studio, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.